Slayer. What is going on, guys? I'm Falcon. Today I'm bringing you a Halo 4 gameplay and commentary on one of the new Forge uh, Big Team Forge maps. And right off the bat, you can see me grab the sniper rifle, see the players in the background go one, two, three, and then look at and look at the kill feed. One, two, three. So I've been a bit inactive recently. I've been out and about doing stuff. It's just holidays, you know, and that's what you do. Um, uh, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, but YouTube videos will be coming back. I've done a... I oh, messed up. Like, yeah. You may have seen me do Titanfall and stuff. And the reason I haven't been uploading any more of that is because the, the sound thing got corrupted. So I need to do a commentary over it. And it's so much more effort than just recording it live and sticking it up. That's a cheap way out, I know, but judge me if you want. Anyway, the game you're watching in the background is a perfection on one of the new uh, Forge maps that's in Big Team. I think it's called Panic uh, something, I'm not sure. Panic System or something, I'm not actually sure what it's called. But it's a really good map, actually. I really enjoy it. And, um, these, this is sort of a, a fresher for what Big Team actually needed. Um, and I think 3 for 3 actually done this really well. They've implemented this map. This is the only one I've actually played on so far, one of the new ones. Um, that, that works really well. There's, I think, four Warthogs on the map, so it's quite vehicle-based, but um, even though you can see it's a forge environment, the, the vehicles and the players are actually quite well-balanced because there's two sniper rifles, rockets, and two rail guns. So, you know, it's fairly decent, and the only Warthogs on the map are the ones with the chain gun. So you've got nothing to worry about, really. Um, this was in the recent update on the bulletin. And this uh, also, addition to Big Team, took uh, also bought in the function of Ninja Assassinations, which has um, uh, removed, well, replaced, replaced um, Squad DLC. And I never actually got to play Squad DLC, and I'm, I'm sort of a little bit, you know, I, I sort of wanted to play Squad DLC, but I never actually got around to it. Um, but yeah, Ninja Assassinations in. Uh, now, if you don't know what Ninja Assassinations is, it's basically where um, you get points by assassinating players. Uh, you all have swords and snipers and, you know, stuff like that, you know what I mean? I haven't actually looked that much into it. But my friend Chewy Nutcluster, who does happen to be in this game here, driving the Warthog, who actually gets an insane score for only three kills by the end, um, he, um, uh, he brought up a really good point saying, oh, uh, well, when you get a kill, you get a boost, sort of thing. You, you, when you get an assassination, you get a boost. And one of the boosts is shields recharge faster. Now, he made a really good point. What help is that going to do when people have got energy swords? <laughs> Seriously, I I was laughing at this because I was thinking, wait. Yeah, I mean, and he even said, like, oh, and I can totally understand, like, the sniper, yeah, it can be. Can be sort of effective. But when you're getting a headshot, it's one hit kill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, I don't know what that was all about. Um... Anyway, uh, as you can see, we are totally wrecking these guys. <laughs> They're only on uh, 40 right now. Um, also, uh, I'm going to start customising controllers. And, um, yeah, so customising controllers. And I, I've sort of bought a couple of, off, uh, bought of, uh, some shells off of eBay to, um, uh, to paint over using uh, tape. And hopefully I can make some uh, custom designs and... Uh, hopefully um, sell them on and I'll be showcasing the uh, first one that I make which will probably be rubbish but you know you have to start somewhere I'll be showcasing that on my channel um, and I've tweet I tweeted out if you if I was doing them who would want one got some good response back um, so yeah I'm hoping if you'd like one uh, follow me on Twitter and we'll see what we can do um, also I'm pretty excited to make them to be honest and as I said, I'll showcase the first one on my YouTube channel. I might even do my, um, uh, my me actually making it. I might, you know, film it or something, I don't know. Um, as for the pricing, I will start off with Xbox 360 controllers only. Because I want to see if I can, um, obviously I don't want to mess up an Xbox One controller. Because that would be um, pretty, pretty horrific. And would um, ruin uh, a controller that is worth a lot of money. Um, you might be asking yourself, well, how much is this going to cost? And... I haven't really thought about uh, it, but maybe for an Xbox 360 controllers, maybe about 10 to 20 pounds more than uh, your 
uh, shop price, so you're looking at perhaps £40 for a, cust a fully customised Xbox controller, which can suit your design really. Um, I'm happy to accommodate to what your de what design uh, people wanna wanna do. Um, yeah, uh, the, yeah. So that'll be about forty pounds if if you're wondering. Um, yeah, so I'll be I'll be doing that. And I'm really excited to get them done. It should be brilliant. And I'm hope hopefully you guys watching this video will be really excited. And obviously tweet me what your uh, what you we if you want me to do one for you. I've already got a couple of ideas for a fellow some fellow YouTubers which I might be able to. Uh, create a little thing for them um yeah anyway uh other than that well the i'll just be designing a shell because i don't want to be taking apart the controller just yet i've looked into making the led uh modding the led um that should be actually pretty decent but at the moment i'm, I'm a bit skeptical about it because i don't want to wreck the controller and uh you got to do some bit of hot wiring and you know that's not quite my thing um Anyway, it should turn up. I hope it turns out great. I'm really looking forward to doing it. Um, and obviously, I'll be showcasing that on my channel. It should the shell should arrive from on it from eBay in about a couple of days' time. So hopefully, I'll get uh, get my spray paints going, get in the garage, and uh, uh, you never know, spray some stuff. Might have to pop into B and Q, my all-time least favorite shop. But you never know, right? Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in get, getting a custom controller from myself. And even if you're lucky, you might get a discount if you are a long-term subscriber. I'm not, you know, you might do, you might not, you know. I'm trying to think about that stuff now. Um, as I said, showcasing the uh, my first controller. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I've just churned out lots of information to you guys. Hopefully, you can all keep up with it. And, um, you know, it should be decent. I I'm really hoping it'll, be it'll come out good because I'm really looking forward to it, you know. Anyway guys, you can see that there is uh, about uh, 8 kills left of this game. And I'll let it play out for you so you can just check that I've got my perfection. Um, but other than that, I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch the gameplay. So, um, it has been your boy File Kid, And uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've got a new subscriber recently. I've forgotten your name. Uh, but anyway, thanks for subscribing. All of you, thanks for subscribing. Like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next, all next time. Peace out.